Compressors and limiters are dynamic processors that reduce the dynamic range of a signal. For instance, if we have a signal with a certain noise floor and a signal peak level, the difference between those two levels will give us the dynamic range of that signal. A compressor or limiter will make that dynamic range smaller by bringing that signal peak level down. So now the signal peak level is going to be below what it was before. The signal to noise ratio will remain exactly where it was. Our dynamic range is smaller. We can better explain how a compressor works with a dynamic response graph. This graph represents the output level versus the input level. The diagonal line represents a unity gain device where at any input level, the output will have the exact same level. The threshold determines at what level the compressor will start affecting the input signal. This level is user-defined. At a ratio of 1 to 1, the compressor's output will be the same as the input. At any level above the threshold, the output will be at the same level. In this case, our dynamic range has not changed at all. If we increase the ratio to 2 to 1, we see the signal being reduced above the threshold. In this case, we can clearly see that the dynamic range is being reduced. The amount of gain reduction is determined by the ratio. A ratio of 2 to 1 means that for every 2 dB above the threshold, the output level will be 1 dB over the threshold. If the input level reaches 0 dB, 10 dB above the threshold, the output will be minus 5 dB, just 5 dB above the threshold. The gain change at the output is half the gain change at the input. If we increase the ratio to 3 to 1, we can see that we reduce the dynamic range even more. In this case, a 0 dB input will give us an output of minus 7 dBU. If we keep increasing the ratio until we get to big values like 10 to 1, we see that the line after the threshold becomes almost horizontal. In this case, the output level change is very small compared to the input level change. When we set the compressor ratio above 10 to 1, we usually call it a limiter. Any signal above the threshold will have little or no gain changes, so the output level is going to be roughly the same level as the threshold level. Not only increasing the ratio can reduce the dynamic range of the signal, reducing the threshold can do the same. Not that only the loudest portion of the signal will be affected, the resulting signal after the compressor will be farther away from the system peak level. In other words, signal-to-noise ratio will be lower and headroom larger. To fix that, it's usually recommended to add makeup gain after the compressor to compensate for losses and maintain signal-to-noise ratio. Compressors and limiters are commonly used to protect amplifiers and loudspeakers, to avoid signal saturation in live and recording sound systems, to reduce the dynamic range on vocals for singers and talkers, to make recordings sound louder, or to level sounds from different sources. Thank you.